I hate you. I, I don't like you. I have been uh, speaking bad about you to so many people. I've been writing bad things about you on internet. Can you forgive me? This is what I've heard again and again and again the last years. And I heard it again the other day. A few days ago, we had a meeting. A woman started to manifest a demon. I went down to her in a meeting and said, let me pray for you. And I took her hand to pray for her. And she said, no, no, let, let me first, let me first say, Tom, can you forgive me? I didn't like you. I've been speaking, speaking very bad about you. Can you forgive me? And I said, yes, yes, you are forgiving. And I prayed and she fell down and a demon came out with a loud, loud scream. Everyone in the room heard it. And then afterwards, she got baptized in water and received the Holy Spirit and a new life. And it was so beautiful. We are in a war. The Bible in Ephesians 6 says that we are not fighting against flesh and blood. That is why I was so fast to forgive her. Yes, you are forgiven. Because I know it's not just... Just, just her who hated me. It was the demon. It was the spirit. She was on, under influence by lies and deception and demonic powers. And therefore, of course, I can forgive you. And Ephesians said, as I said, we not fight against flesh and blood, but against power rulers of this darkness, about princip principalities, about the spiritual host of wickedness. We are not fighting against flesh and blood, but it seems like flesh and blood sometimes. It was not a demon who came up to me and said, I hate you, Tom. It was a person. We have so much hurt in the churches, and we often hate each other or don't like each other without a reason, without having a really good reason for it. It's just because we are in a spiritual war and we don't understand it. I've had many, many people like this who hate me. I've had people, had people fight against me without a reason. Or sometimes the reason is, is in our eyes very, very small. But say have used it. There is a guy on YouTube who have done many videos against me. And, and it's almost like his main focus is to hate me or destroy me and see the last reformation fall. And he's actually a guy I liked, or liked. Still, I don't have anything against him, but he was on our school. He was a student on our school. There was a student on our school in Denmark some years ago, and he was very hurt and rejected. He grew up without a father, and he had a very hard life. But I, I remember one day we had a very powerful meeting where I prophesied over him, got a word, and I was hugging him, and he was crying and crying and crying and crying. And, and we had a moment. We had a beautiful moment there, and God really touched him. A few months later, he just did a lot of bad videos against me and was sharing a lot of things against me, and it was almost like his main hope was to see me fall and the last reformation be destroyed. And I was like, how? how? How can this happen? Like, I thought we had something together. I thought he liked me. I liked him. I, have, I really liked him. And I gave him a hug and I prayed and prophesied over him. And he was crying. And, and I felt there was something special there. How can this then happen that he do videos against me? And I did not understand it for a long time. But then I had a friend who said, Tom, I know when it happened. I said, what? I remember that day it happened. In heaven, in the cafeteria, you sent him away. I said, what? You sent him away. And he got very, very hurt and rejected. I sent him away. I, I don't, I didn't send him away. Yes, you were sitting and talking with somebody and then he came and you, ah, oh, was that him? Was that there? And I remember that I was sitting in the cafeteria having a very, very personal talk with somebody who was open up and sharing personal things. And that guy, I was not aware of who it was even, but he came and sat beside me. I just knew that somebody came and sat beside me and I turned around and said, hey, can you sit over there? Can, can you sit another place because I'm talking? There I sent him away and my friend saw it 
and he saw that he dare open up for bitterness and hurt and rejection. And he allowed that bitter root come in. And a few months later, he did videos against me and really don't like me and want the last reformation to be destroyed. If you have seen this video, I tried many times to say, I'm sorry. I want to say again, I'm sorry. I, I did not know it. Please forgive me. I tried to reach out to him, but, but it's, it's very difficult because that bitterness is just there. I didn't want to hurt him. I don't want to hurt you. Can you forgive me? But I've seen so many people got hurt the last years. I've seen people who hate me without a reason, people who don't know me. And, 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 but I've also seen people who get hurt by me. But I don't want to hurt you. Why did, do people get hurt? Why do we get easily hurt by each other? First, we are in a spiritual war and we need to understand that. It's not a fight against flesh and blood, but it's spiritual. But also because there's so much misunderstanding. Satan used that. There is false expectation or expectation we cannot live up to. And I've had people coming to a school and, and, and they, I didn't have the time to sit down with them. I have people I walk by and I did not look at them and smile or, or people who are saying something to me and I didn't listen. And, and I suddenly turn around and spoke to somebody else and they got hurt by my, me. And that hurt just grew up in them and, and, and bitterness came in. I am so sorry. Please forgive me. But I cannot live up to your expectation. I cannot be perfect as you expect me to be perfect every time. And you cannot be perfect either. You have also hurt me. I've been hurt by people also many times. Why do I do this video? Because we need to understand that we are in a spiritual war. We need to be aware of this. We need to stop listening to Satan's lies and tactic to try to create division and hurt and bitterness. You out there need to be aware of this. First, be aware that we are living in a spiritual war. If you hate me, you, me, you have never met. Why? What is the reason you hate me? Ask yourself that. Why is the reason you hate other people? Why don't you like other people you don't know? Why is the reason you speak bad about people you have never sat down and talked with? Why? Ask yourself that question. Why have I so much against you, Tobmo? Why do I have so much against that person, that person, that person? Answer number one is often because it's a spiritual war. We are in a war. Don't give Satan the victory here. You can love them. The Bible says even love your enemies. Pray for those who persecute you. Therefore, you can love me and you can pray for me. And I'm even not your enemy. I'm your brother. Those people out there, it's not your enemies. They're your brothers. And even if they're your enemies, you can still love them and pray for them. And you are not called to hate anyone. If you hate somebody, you are committing murder in your heart. We are in a spiritual war. Examine your heart and don't let any bitterness come in and destroy you as you have destroyed so many people. Second, be careful what you speak. Be careful what you speak. Don't be a, a tool in Satan's hand by being do, one of those persons who are spreading lies and rumors and negativity against other people. Satan used that to create division, to get people away from people. That woman who came the other day, it took a lot of courage for her to come to me. <laughs> but she needed it. She got set free, forgiven, set free, baptized in water and received the Holy Spirit. Why did she have so much hate against me? Because maybe because she have heard things. She didn't know me. She have heard bad things against me. And Satan have used that to distance her from me so she could not come and hear the gospel and get set free. Be careful what you speak. That you're not being used in Satan's, as Satan's tool to create division. And be careful what you listen to. 
Why? Because there is a lot of poison out there and, and listen to the wrong thing that can destroy your life and you go more for things. So remember, it's a spiritual war we are in. Be careful what you, keep your heart pure, be careful what you speak and be careful what you listen to. And then I want to thank God for the other day that that woman got set free, so beautiful. And I have many examples like this. For you out there, have I hurt you? Do you go around with bitterness? Ask yourself, is there a reason for it? If there is not, then understand it's a spiritual war. If there is a reason for it, I'm sorry. Like I know from my heart, I don't want to purposely hurt people but I cannot live up to people's expectation like that boy. Like I was not aware of it. If I was aware of it, I would have said to him, please, I'm, I'm sitting here in a very, very careful conversation and it's very personal. He had just opened up. C can you just wait there five minutes and when I'm finished, I will come to you afterwards. And, and I would really have tried to do things in a very, very different way and very calm and explain me and I try to do that with those people I work with. I really try to be careful, but I cannot be careful enough. I cannot live up to it. And therefore people get hurt because it's not always I'm aware of it. And it's not always you are aware of it and you hurt other people. Let's be better to forgive. Let's be better to recognize it's a spiritual war. Let's be better to not speak bad, speak bad about people. Let's be better to not listen to bad talk and therefore get poisoned by it. We are in a spiritual war. Share this video with other people because people need this. People need to hear this so we can stop being a tool in our enemy's hand and instead love and speak good about other people. God bless you all out there.